The Santa Ana River has played a key role in the development of Southern California. Although river and land uses have changed, the Santa Ana River continues to be an important water resource, especially to Orange County. A historical perspective of the area shows how vital this river has been. The purpose of this film is to provide an overview of the Santa Ana River and its diverse uses. present and future use of the river as a water supply continues to influence the lives of millions of Southern California residents. The Santa Ana River watershed is only 2,800 square miles, but is home to over 4.5 million people residing in Riverside, San Bernardino, and Orange counties. Headwaters for the Santa Ana River are located high in the San Bernardino Mountains amidst ponderosa pine forests. The river flows in a southwesterly direction for 80 miles and enters the Pacific Ocean near Huntington Beach. In the inland valley communities of Riverside and San Bernardino, riparian woodland and chaparral have been replaced by agriculture and high-density housing. The mouth of the river was once coastal salt marsh and is now surrounded by crowded beachside communities. Growth and development along the Santa Ana River have changed dramatically over the past 100 years. Like other arid western regions, the availability of water has determined land use. In the 1800s, the Santa Ana River supplied water to a vast agricultural empire. Vineyards, citrus orchards, and walnut groves were planted in the fertile soils along the riverbed. Large cattle ranches or rancheros were established. River water and well water was plentiful for agriculture and livestock. Farmers built dikes in the river to divert water into fields and orchards. Wells were also dug along the riverbanks and in nearby areas. Water from the river allowed the area to flourish as an agricultural center with a growing urban population. of 1919 and 1938 underscored the need to control the river. Widespread flooding of coastal Orange County left crops and livestock underwater. Bridges along the river were destroyed. Hundreds of Orange County residents were displaced by rising water. To prevent further catastrophic flooding, Prado Dam was constructed by the Army Corps of Engineers. The dam was designed to prevent 100-year floods and was completed in 1941. The need to protect local water resources for both agricultural and urban demands also became evident as the population grew. Local and regional water agencies were formed to manage dwindling water resources. The Orange County Water District was formed in 1933 by a special act of the California Legislature 
to manage and protect Orange County's groundwater supply. Intensive agricultural practices had taken their toll on both the Santa Ana River and groundwater supplies. Most of the river flows had been diverted by upstream farmers. Decreasing river supplies downstream also reduced natural percolation in the groundwater aquifers. Orange County wells had to be dug deeper in order to reach the rapidly dropping water table. Extensive pumping of coastal groundwater supplies resulted in seawater intrusion. In the 1940s, a groundwater overdraft condition of over 100,000 acre feet per year existed. OCWD began purchasing Colorado River water from the Metropolitan Water District to replenish groundwater supplies. Spreading basins were filled with Colorado River water for percolation into the aquifer. In spite of these efforts, water purchases could not correct overdraft conditions. In 1951, OCWD filed suit against upstream cities to maintain Santa Ana River flows for downstream use. A 1961 court stipulation required 42,000 acre feet of flow per year be maintained in the river for Orange County. Over the past 100 years, the importance of the Santa Ana River has remained unchanged despite the shift in water use from agriculture to primarily urban needs. Portions of the present-day Santa Ana River look much different than they did to farmers and settlers in the 1800s. The river was once a perennial stream consisting of mountain snowmelt. Today, natural flows are intermittent at best. The majority of flow is treated wastewater discharged from 18 large treatment facilities. Approximately 140,000 acre feet of tertiary treated wastewater is discharged to the river each year. Thus, the Santa Ana River has taken on a new role as an important discharge point for inland communities. Annual wastewater discharges are expected to increase to over 180,000 acre feet by the year 2000. New wastewater treatment technology is being used at several facilities, like the Rapid Infiltration and Extraction Project, or RICS. In April 1996, the RICS facility began treating 30 million gallons a day of secondary treated wastewater. Wastewater is pumped into infiltration basins and then extracted using a series of nearby wells. Ultraviolet light is used for disinfection rather than chlorine. Benefits of ultraviolet light disinfection include elimination of a dechlorination step and a minimization of chloride salts during disinfection. Another innovative approach to wastewater treatment is the use of wetlands. The Hidden Valley wetlands are maintained by the city of Riverside and treat 15 million gallons a day of secondary wastewater. Nitrogen, primarily in the form of nitrate, is removed through a 50-acre series of ponds. Wetlands treated effluent is then discharged into the Santa Ana River. Other wastewater treatment facilities along the river discharge filtered tertiary treated effluent that has been chlorinated and dechlorinated. Base flow in the Santa Ana River is over 140,000 acre feet per year of wastewater. Therefore, the Santa Ana River has become a wastewater dominated stream, typically high in total dissolved solids and nitrogen. Nitrate nitrogen concentrations in the river may exceed the federal drinking water standard of 10 milligrams per liter. Because river water is used downstream for groundwater recharge, nitrogen removal is important. Consumption of groundwater containing nitrate levels exceeding 10 milligrams per liter may result in blue baby syndrome, or met hemoglobinemia. Therefore, one of Orange County Water District's top water quality priorities is to minimize nitrate levels in the Santa Ana River and ultimately in the groundwater. 
Orange County Water District utilizes wetlands treatment for nitrate reduction and overall water quality enhancement. The Prado Wetlands is a series of ponds maintained by Orange County Water District for natural biological treatment of Santa Ana River water. The Prado Wetlands treat up to half of the Santa Ana River flows and remove up to 88% of nitrate nitrogen present. Retention time with the water is five to seven days. There are approximately 500 acres of ponds ranging in size from one to 10 acres, which are one to seven feet in depth. Historically, the ponds were maintained for a duck hunting concession. Although duck hunting is still allowed at specific times, the ponds are primarily used for water quality enhancement. Riparian habitat surrounding the ponds is home to a diverse population of wildlife and waterfowl. The least bells vireo is an endangered species that migrates into the area in the spring. Numbers have steadily increased from 18 to 165 pairs since 1986. Vireo habitat includes indigenous mule fat and black willow. Orange County Water District has an extensive program to protect and enhance vireo habitat within the Prado wetlands. Over 20,000 saplings have been planted for vireo habitat. Cowbird trapping is conducted to prevent parasitism of vireo nests. To protect the natural environment along the Santa Ana River and within the Prado wetlands, Orange County Water District is participating in removal of invasive giant reed grass or arundo. Growth of arundo chokes out natural riparian habitat and has a significant effect on water resources. Arundo is a non-native species that uses over 50,000 acre feet per year of Santa Ana River water. Enough water to serve a population of 280,000 people. Orange County Water District has also conducted extensive research in the wetlands on transformations in water quality. The University of California at Berkeley has been conducting studies on the mechanism of nitrogen removal in the wetlands for the past five years. A miniature set of ponds or test cells were constructed for these studies. Test cells were planted with bulrushes, cattails, or left as open water to determine the effect of vegetation on nitrogen removal. Plant type appears to affect nitrogen removal. However, additional studies are planned to evaluate the influence of algae on water quality. Wetlands treatment of Santa Ana River water was also found to result in transformation of organic compounds. Results show a change in organic signature. River water entering the wetlands contains halogenated compounds from chlorine disinfection of wastewater effluent. After wetlands treatment, the river water has a more natural or biologically active organics signature. Additional research is planned to optimize organics transformation and nitrogen removal. This research is important since Orange County Water District plans to expand the wetlands to treat most of the Santa Ana River flows. Strategies for pond construction and vegetation will be based on research findings. Enhancement of Santa Ana River water quality through the Prado wetlands is critical since river water is used downstream for groundwater recharge. Water leaving the Prado wetlands joins the Santa Ana River and tributary creeks above Prado Dam. Non-point sources of pollution are of special concern in this area. High-density dairies maintain over 300,000 dairy cows in this region. Runoff from dairy washwater ponds and manure piles enter the Santa Ana River and its tributaries, especially during winter storm events exceeding 25-year flood conditions. Local groundwater is high in total dissolved solids and nitrates from past agriculture 
and dairy activities. Runoff has also become a significant problem with increasing urban development of San Bernardino and Riverside counties. Impervious concrete and asphalt surfaces have reduced local percolation into groundwater basins and increased runoff and the potential for flooding. Additional flood control measures are required to control drainage from high-density housing. Plans are underway with the Army Corps of Engineers to raise the level of Prado Dam to provide additional flood protection and increase water storage. Orange County Water District works closely with the Army Corps to maximize water conservation behind the dam in the spring through fall when flood potential is minimal. Water captured behind the dam can be slowly released for downstream diversion into groundwater recharge basins. Water may be stored behind Prado Dam up to an elevation of 505 feet. Depending on the intensity of the storm, flows may not be captured by Orange County Water District for groundwater recharge. River flows released from Prado Dam enter Orange County at the Santa Ana Canyon. Approximately 13 miles downstream from Prado Dam, Orange County Water District maintains the river for use in groundwater recharge. Adjacent to the river are a series of spreading basins in an area known as the Anaheim Forebay. The Forebay is the area where the Santa Ana River naturally recharges the groundwater basin. In comparison, groundwater recharge is minimal in the pressure zone along the coast. Orange County Water District maximizes use of the Forebay for groundwater recharge of river water. Water is diverted from the river at the Imperial Headgate's diversion structure into a series of desilting ponds. A portion of the water is allowed to stay in the riverbed for percolation. T and L-shaped levees are constructed in the riverbed to slow flows and maximize percolation. Orange County Water District has constructed two inflatable rubber dams across the Santa Ana River to divert water flows for greater percolation. When inflated, the rubber dams are over six feet in diameter and span a distance of approximately 320 feet. When river flows exceed 500 cubic feet per second, the dams are deflated to prevent flooding. Water is diverted into 14 spreading basins for groundwater recharge. Pipes connect the basins and allow for transfer of water from one basin to another. Warner Basin is a large recharge basin that is used for a seasonal fishing concession. Anaheim Lake is one of the largest groundwater recharge basins. It is approximately 50 feet deep and holds over 2,300 acre feet of water. The lake may be filled with diverted river water or purchased imported water from Metropolitan Water District. However, Orange County Water District tries to minimize water purchases due to the high cost and seasonal availability of this water. The basins tend to clog and must be cleaned once to twice each year. Drain basins are scraped with bulldozers to remove accumulated fines and organic matter from the surface. Research is underway to improve basin cleaning practices. A pool sweep basin cleaning device is being developed to clean the basins without having to drain them. Orange County Water District operates the recharge or spreading basins from its field headquarters. Heavy equipment is housed on site and used for maintenance of the riverbed and basin cleaning. Field headquarters coordinates with the Army Corps of Engineers to anticipate capture of water released from Prado Dam, especially during storm events. Groundwater recharge efforts maximize use of the area's percolation capacity. An unconsolidated aquifer underlies the Anaheim Forebay. 
Sandy alluvial soils make for excellent percolation during groundwater recharge. Water levels may vary 20 to 40 feet depending on groundwater recharge activities. Typically, water levels are high in the winter rainy season when Orange County Water District is able to capture storm flows for groundwater recharge. During the winter months, a Vados zone is not maintained under the basins. During the summer months, continuous pumping of local wells and reduced river flows result in lower groundwater levels. There are numerous production wells surrounding the spreading basins. Groundwater pumped for potable use is mostly chlorinated prior to distribution. Orange County Water District maintains over 100 monitoring wells in the area for water quality studies. Some of the wells are specialized West Bay wells that allow for sampling of discrete depth intervals within the aquifer. Extensive research on the flow of recharged water in the groundwater basin has been conducted by Orange County Water District's in-house hydrologists in conjunction with various research laboratories. Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory conducted an isotope tracer study in the Anaheim Forebay in 1995. Parts per billion concentrations of naturally occurring stable isotopes such as tritium, helium-3, and oxygen were analyzed to determine groundwater age and flow path. Additional studies using a tracer such as sulfur hexafluoride or a noble gas are planned. Santa Ana River water, not diverted into the spreading basins, continues down a 13-mile concrete-lined portion of the Santa Ana River bed and enters the Pacific Ocean near Huntington Beach. The concrete lining was constructed as an additional flood control measure. Orange County Water District and the Orange County Sanitation District are located along the Santa Ana River in the city of Fountain Valley. Unlike upstream wastewater treatment facilities, the Sanitation District discharges over 240 million gallons per day of effluent into the ocean via a deep water outfall. Both agencies have been working on joint water reclamation projects. Orange County Water District recharges over 250,000 acre feet per year of water, mainly from the Santa Ana River. River water is the primary source of water for groundwater recharge in Orange County and is valued at over $60 million per year, the cost to purchase a similar volume of imported water. Since river flows are mostly wastewater effluent, the level of treatment provided by upstream dischargers directly impacts the river and ultimately Orange County's groundwater supply. Orange County Water District's extensive research efforts to develop baseline water quality data on the river and groundwater continue to provide critical information on the relationship between the river and the groundwater basin. Although the profile of the present-day Santa Ana River is vastly different from that in the 1800s, its importance as a vital water resource for Orange County remains unchanged. <laughs>